The addition of the Overgrowth spell and the Hog Puppet should make Queen Charge Root Rider stronger. But in practice, does this eventuate or are they completely useless with the army? First attack here, coming in with Queen Charge Root Rider. Now, for the sake of this video, I decided to not use the Frozen Arrow. I do have the Frozen Arrow on this account, but I know not all of you have the Frozen Arrow or upgraded it much. So I am running the Archer Puppet, but I am going to say something quickly before we get into the uh, Overgrowth and the Hog Puppet part of this video. The Frozen Arrow is so much better for Queen Charge, and I've been using it for a couple of weeks now, and uh, yeah, I, I didn't realize how bad the Archer Puppet was until I went back to it. Yeah, it kind of took me by surprise. I was not ready for uh, how much tougher Queen Charges are going to be without the Frozen Arrow. But alas, we're coming in with the Queen Charge here, and right here you're going to see already one of the problems with the Overgrowth spell. Figuring out when to use it. What do you use it with? Do you use it with the Queen Charge? Do you use it with the Root Riders? It's not really clear. On this base, I thought of using it with the Queen Charge, but I didn't really know what I'd gain from it. So I could have used it in the core of the base right now, and then my Queen would have been fine. But what do I get by doing that? It keeps my Queen alive, sure, but she's just doing a circle of the base. She's not really getting any value. So I decide to hang on to the Overgrowth spell. But that means every... For the rest of the attack, what's on the back of my mind is, well, when am I using the Overgrowth spell? When am I using the Overgrowth spell? You see the new level Siege Barracks coming in handy here because two packers can funnel much better, which means we get the king into the core of the base. So what I decide to do here, as my queen has gone down, is use the Overgrowth spell behind the Town Hall because Root Riders and all your troops are most vulnerable when the Town Hall goes down and that poison effect is uh, happening. But you see here, yes, we are taking damage from the poison effect, but we aren't taking damage from all these back-end defenses. And even better, the poison effect slows you down, which is a good thing. Because I'm trying to time it here so that the defenses are visible as soon as it all opens. And that worked out perfectly. We've got the king ability on the top side doing great work. We've got the RC ability on the right. or RC ability about to come in. We freeze the monolith one more time. But we need these hogs to put in work. So we've got the hogs with the seeking shield. Hopefully the hogs get in front. Keep in mind, my fox is dead at this point. So if it weren't for the hogs, my RC would not have a tank. Even with the haste vial, she would be in a lot of trouble here. And the hogs come in super clutch, doing a lot of damage. And honestly, this was one of my uh, first attacks with, with this combination. I was like, overgrowth spell and hog puppet. Insane, right? Insane. I should be using this with the army more. I wonder if I'll still be saying that by the end of the video. I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's jump into the next attack. This attack here, I think, perfectly sums up how I feel about the Overgrowth spell and the Hog Puppet with Queen Charge Root Rider. I was so glad I found a ring base like this because I know you all will run into ring bases like this. And uh, by the way, I wouldn't have lost a healer there if I was running the Frozen Arrow. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop bringing it up. Well, we're running the Archer Puppet for sure. Anyways, what I was saying... You will all run into bases like this, and I think I use the Overgrowth spell how a lot of you would, because getting your queen into this second layer isn't that difficult, but getting her not only into the core of the base, but to get to take the town all down is quite difficult. So the queen's going here quite nicely. I haven't really funneled much on the top side, but it is just going to be enough because she comes back here. But you see, this is where the attack starts to get difficult, not just for myself, but for all of you. So the CC comes out. Thankfully, the queen stays out of range of the monolith. Uh, she is in Warden range, but alas, not much we can do about that. So I start the uh, Root Riders on the left-hand side. They're doing a great job. Uh, two Peckers with the King will be really handy to funnel that all in. I wish the King went inside the base, but alas, we got the two Peckers. So because I do the Root Riders early, I'm able to uh, wall break in the Queen. But look at this. Woo! A lot of damage coming on the Queen. So, I pop the Overgrowth spell right now. And this is what I like about the Overgrowth spell. I don't need to worry about the Queen. There's no real damage on her. It fast tracks her towards the Town Hall. And she takes it down sooner. I even get her in the Warden ability. And at this point in time, everything is going perfect. But this is when it starts to go bad. So, have a look at this, right? The Queen's in the core. But because she can't shoot any buildings after the Town Hall... She's now standing on the Town Hall Poison. I pop her ability. I even use a Freeze here as well. 
That first freeze wasn't needed. She's still invisible at this point in time. I used the second freeze, but look, she's not going for any of those buildings that she would have gone for had I not used the... Uh, had I not used the Overgrowth spell. Now let's have a look at the Hog Puppet in action. The Hogs come out, but look, the Monolith locks onto the Royal Champion anyway, because Hogs Path differently to her. She is a ranged unit. Then all the Hogs get shredded on the Ricochet Cannon, like completely shredded. And my RC has about 15% HP at this point in time. I tell you what, Hero Equipment would have been really handy in the last 15 seconds. You know it, the Haste Vial. Now you might say, Hooks, why don't you use the Haste Vial and the Hog Puppet together? The point of the hogs is to get out in front of the RC and tank for her. And if you use the hog puppet and the haze file, the RC is going to go out in front of them and the hogs are going to be kind of useless. So it puts you in a weird spot, these two new equipment. This is one of my favorite bases to attack. It's quite a common base uh, if you get a bit higher up in Legends. And this crack has basically never failed for me. But... I do make a mistake here, and thankfully the Overgrowth spell does save this attack. So I'm going to show you the power of that. So we're going to Queen Charge into the back end here. Uh, the Queen's going to go in nicely whilst the Flame Flinger is on the bottom. We got the Wall Break here, and we're going to deal with the Monolith before the Defensive CC comes out. And look at how chill this CC kill is now. Ice Golems and Archers, that's fine for us. We're going to deal with this. Now, generally what I do next, we'll Wall Break with the poison uh, on the Poison Tower here. The Queen clears out the core, and we're going to Root Rider from here. We do get to the town all quite late, but you have so many troops still up at that point, it doesn't really matter. But this one's not going to pan out quite that way. Queen finally deals with the Ice Golem. The Ice Golem does stall a lot of time, but when you're not under any damage, that's completely fine. Queen's doing her thing. We use the Baby Dragon to funnel. But unfortunately here, because the Queen gets in range of both Ricochet Cannons, it kind of makes it impossible to wall break. And at this point, look at this. I use the Invis, but the Queen ability goes off as well. So I've got two Freezes, but that's not going to be enough to deal with the two uh, single Infernos there. So what do we do? We use the trusty old Overgrowth spell. And look, we've got an all three single Infernos on the base down. Now, it will leave weird pathing for later, but that's okay. I don't want to deal with the single Infernos and the Eagle now. I'm much happier to deal with them later on. So we've got the King going inside the base again. I really like doing this with the... Uh, queen charge root rider still and look i haven't popped the warden ability yet as soon as the overgrowth spell ends i do a rage and the warden ability and look my queen's in a much better spot now to deal with these single infernos so the overgrowth spell here definitely saved this attack i don't think i would have tripled it without it now in terms of the hog puppet you're not really going to see the hog puppet mo much this attack because well i do wreck this but imagine if this attack was close and i popped the rc ability now the hogs are going to get wrecked by the Town of Poison, the Bomb Towers. That's one of the replays I'm not showing in today's video. It would have been perfect to show that where I had to delay the RC ability because she was standing on top of a Bomb Tower, even though I wanted to pop it. The hog, the hog puppet, the pop it, pop it, really difficult. It just kind of hamstrings you. Now, thankfully, didn't need the RC ability here, but that's only because the overgrowth spell was proving its value. This attack here really sealed it for me that I should not only not use the Hog Puppet with this army, but with any army at all. But we'll talk about that when I pop the RC ability. For now, let's talk about kind of the concluding remarks of uh, the overgrowth spell and the Hog Puppet. But let's start with the overgrowth spell. So obviously the title uh, and the hook suggest it's not great with this army. And I don't really know how to put it because the overgrowth spell definitely has a place. For instance, there's some attacks in this video that I wouldn't have tripled without it. And it can definitely add value. But the problem is you're always sitting there in the back of your mind going, well, how am I going to use it? Now, maybe in the future when we're all a bit better with it, it will be easier. But at this point in time, it's really difficult because it's not obvious when to use it. So on this attack here, I use it on the right-hand side because this funnels the queen in towards the core quite nicely. And it means there's less damage on her in this tough part of the base. Now, I do manually uh, pop the ability there. I didn't need to do it, but I was worried of the queen dying through her ability. But the overgrowth spell there helps because we get through that part of the base easier. But as I was saying, 
It's just an extra complication. Now, if you're capable of taking it, I think you can definitely always find value with it, but it's never going to be the same every single attack, and that makes it quite difficult to figure out. So, in terms of me continually using Korean Charge Root Rider with this army, I don't know. Now, I want to talk about one weakness of this new Siege Barracks level, and it's the two Peckers coming out. Which doesn't sound like a weakness, but watch my Warden here. He is following the King and the Two Packers, because that is a lot of troop space there. It is more than the Root Riders and Royal Champion, and this attack kind of gets put, picked apart because of it. Queen is still up on the right-hand side, but she does go down now. But let's have a look at this RC ability. So... Coming into the back end of the base, my Root Riders are dying, so I need a new tank for my Royal Champion. But look at this. <gasps> bacon! Complete and utter bacon. And whilst I didn't do the Hog Riders justice there, obviously I put them in a pretty tough spot going straight into a Scattershot. I don't know when I'm going to use the RC ability in any one attack. It needs to be versatile, and that's what the Haste Vial is. That's what the Royal Gem is and the Seeking Shield. They're all versatile. You can use the ability at any point, and you're always going to get some value. Whereas the Hog Puppet, yeah, can get really good value, but then it can also get terrible value, whereas the Haste Value seems to get really good value almost every single time, and you just... If I'm forced to have to watch my RC in terms of when exactly I'm using the ability, it's going to make it much harder to look after the rest of the attack. So, in terms of the Hog Puppet, don't recommend it at all, not just for this army, but any army at all. At least in terms of at Town Hall 16, when you've got the Fox and the Haste File can be OP. And in terms of the Overgrowth spell, it does add a layer of difficulty. It can definitely help as well. So, if you're willing to take on that layer of difficulty, do, but you don't need this to triple. We saw Queen Charge Root Rider was insane last season. It's still strong this season. All the top players are not using... <laughs>